got stubborn fat. Bullying of a child. Like, what? F off, let me finish on my own. You guys remember Posture Guy Mike? Well, let's see if he's doing anything different. Got stubborn fat? Help get rid of it by tapping into your lymphatic system. Interlace fingers with toes. Make improve lymphatic drainage by doing this. Nope, same old bullshit. Uh, recently ran into a post from Atlas Power Shrugged. Really good post. I, I like the, um, the, the nuance here. And basically he says vegan versus carnivore debates are completely pointless and to make it easier for the system to control you. Completely pointless is a bold claim, so let's get into that. What's the point of a debate? The hope is that by getting two different perspectives to throw their best arguments at each other, we will actually compare them and come to a better understanding of the actual truth. It's generally assumed that the participants are too invested in their own positions to change their mind, so the goal is to help the audience decide who is more right about what. And there's the problem. There is no audience who is trying to decide, should I do vegan or should I do carnivore? That's the general idea behind the post. And I thought that was very interesting. He also says a carnivore versus paleo diet debate might be more, might be better. Or uh, a vegetarian versus a, a vegan diet might be better as someone could be dissuaded as they're closer to each other on the spectrum. I thought that's an interesting take. Um, I think... Another thing he mentions is that the goal in vegan versus carnivore debates are to just give people the energy and the bot like to, to feed their own biases to to continue to yell their points. In this episode of American football players being incredibly strong. Yeah, 361 pound uh, power clean. Pretty, pretty freaking good for someone who doesn't really train weightlifting like a weightlifter would. I'd say the most beautiful thing about that lift is the equipment he's lifting on. But yeah, his start position was good. He might have caught a little bit wide. He made contact with the thigh, gripped and ripped. There's nothing wrong with it. Of course, as you'd expect when things like this cross over to the mainstream, you get ridiculous comments from people that have no idea what they're talking about. With all due respect, I did this as a junior in high school, 405 to be exact, so not that exciting. I was 210. Uh, likely you didn't. Highly likely that you didn't. Um, didn't fully lift it, but whatever. Yeah, this person just doesn't know what a clean is. I did 365 in high school, and I held it at the top longer. Just recently, Theo Vaughn was competing in the CrossFit Games semifinals. In all seriousness, I really did like this event. It was a complex of three cleans, two front squats, and one jerk. You saw a variety of people doing uh, all three reps at power cleans, all three reps uh, with normal cleans where they would squat through for all of the reps of the cleans. And then you had some people with a mixture of both. I personally would have been at the most one power clean at the first, and then the next two would have been full cleans. Uh, or just three full cleans. That's just from my perspective. I feel as if um, a weightlifter had trained for this event. That's what the most efficient way of doing this would be. So now we have some more internet bullying of a child. The trophy is more ripped. Bro skipped eat day. Bro skipped milk day. My boy flexing those bones. Look, here's the thing. If kids are in the weight room trying to get stronger and doing bodybuilding training, they should be doing it uh, to get stronger and go be physical, like go play sports. They shouldn't be doing it for vanity. So right away, I would say, get this kid out of bodybuilding competitions. Like that's all it's about is vanity. It's the last thing kids need. But regardless, like people ripping on a child for not like what? There's just, th there's like hundreds of comments like this with thousands of upvotes. Like, wh who would think that? I was sent this video and the person who sent it said, this is the world's sleepiest weightlifter. Casual 200 and what was that? 18 kilo clean and jerk. 
where he just kind of walks off the stage. Is this the worst possible lift with the best possible environment ever? I don't know, you tell me. Honestly, I love the fact that the two, they got video of the two dudes dapping each other up. Like, I don't know, I still, I just. All right, next video. So at the top here, it says another reason why Tia is the goat. In my opinion, I think this type of stuff is insufferable. If I was in the position of the person lifting, I would say to F off, let me finish on my own. Look, that's just my opinion. I think that Tia is an unbelievable athlete and a really good f***ing weightlifter. But this comment says it best. Anyone who's come in last knows this shit is not helpful. I've seen a lot of people say that uh, the military is getting to become full of more and more pussies. Well, let's debunk that with this video. <laughs> 680 deadlift, serious grind, but that is some serious strength. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video, a little bit of a different format. If you guys have any videos on the internet that you want me to mention in here, post them to my subreddit or DM them to me. I might see them, save them, and make a YouTube video on it. I'll see you in the next video.